Good afternoon and welcome to Virginia Union Panther football here on a lovely day at Virginia Union on Lombard Street. Today the Panthers are playing the Sinai Heights Saints from Adrian, Michigan. Teams are both taking the field at this time. About 10 minutes away from kickoff. There he is. Look like it's going to be a warm day, Justin. That's for we about 95. Very cloudy, you know. Well, not nice, nice overcast. There's a breeze right now, so far. So let's hope it continues the rest of the, of the afternoon. I am Justin White. Sitting here with the legendary Mr. Willie Spence. We will be bringing your broadcast to you today live from Hubby Field. Kickoff is at 12 noon, so y'all bear with us for about 10 minutes and we'll be underway. <laughs> I guess when I go off air, I turn my volume down. Yeah, I'm muted. But I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the historic public field for this afternoon's football game between the Siena High State and your Virginia Union University Panthers. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome your 2014 Virginia Union University Panther football team. That's ridiculous. Hmm? The same what I told you about the uh I told them about that the same time I was up here to do the interview for three weeks ago. Yeah. Hey. Where am I plugging this into? Yeah, I forgot. What am I plugging this into, Jim? Jim, what am I plugging this into? Video capture card. Video capture. That's got to be it. Yeah. Right there? Gotcha. Okay. It looks like they went together. Right now. You need to put that on the uh, camera. Oh, this goes in the yeah. camera. Oh, yeah. I think you need this. Just take this in. Okay. 
quarterback who is 36. Dash. Hello? We'll go on. Hello? Ladies and gentlemen, we ask what? at this time that we stand and remove all heck here. As we salute America with the playing of a national anthem by the Virginia Union University marching band. Oh, yeah, man, we can't shoot it. We know this will be our maiden one. We get it straight. Good afternoon and welcome to our broadcast. Thank you, Captain. 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 Thank you
kicking off. The Panthers, number nine, Troy Krepich. Kicking off for the Panthers is Troy Krepich, senior. Deep from the Saints, number 15, Curtis Smith. Number 15, Raphael Dunson. 21, Clint Brad. The whistle has blown. It's time to play Panther football. Looks like we have Raphael Dunson in the back to return the kick. We'll see in the heights. Ladies and gentlemen, we are underway. Ball is two, two yards, two yards deep in the end zone. Here we come. And we turn by number 11. Devontae Price. Return out to the 21 yard line. Tackle by number 27 for the Panthers, Ricardo Dixon. 21 yard return. Thanks, first and 10. What are you going to do to the ball? The play is going on now, and I'll analyze it after. Okay. Okay. That way we'll be okay. That's good. Okay. Yeah. That way we both not talk. Okay. Eye formation. Seeing the heights and pistol formation. Hmm. Dive off tackle. Host of pants are there to make the tackle. Okay. On the carry number 27, Amari Kelly for the Saints. Gain to the 26 yard line. Gain of five. No gain on the play. Second attempt from the 21. Quick slam pass. It's complete to Donovan Campbell. On the stop for the Panthers, number 51, Dominique Rome. Play carries for 11 to the 32. Just to look like Sihanna Heights wanted to hurry up and get out and play quick pace today. I think that's going to be a trend for both offensive. As we know, Coach James runs a high power, you know, quick paced offense. So. Yeah. Yes, and each team playing the power power up football. So what we want to do in this case is get the ball in the hands of your athletes. We're exactly. gonna look for either defense to step up. Number thirteen, the ball carrier, Raphael Dunson. Raphael Dunson. On the tackle for the Panthers, number thirty-six, Devontae Dash. Like also number thirty-one on the stop, Donovan Rose. Play carries to the 37, gain of five, second down five. We have second and five for Sienna Heights. The Panthers look like they're lined up in a 3 5 defense. Latowski's pass is complete to number 13, Dunson. Good tackle for a loss by number 42. On the tackle, Kevin number 22, Kevin Gordon for the Panthers. Loss on the play. Back to the 33. Loss of four. Third and eight. Third and eight. That was a quick read by the cornerback that time. Came up and made that quick tackle. Let me tell you, Willie, this secondary group is really good this year. We have Ricardo Smith on the far side at the top of the, top of the field. His first year as a starter, but... He's been getting play touches a sophomore year. And, uh, the pass uh, is complete. Yeah, as soon as you said that, you figured it out. Who carries deep in the Panther territory. So that's the Panther 29 yard line. On the top of the Panthers. Of the 22 Cassius McCown. Yeah, that was a big game for the Seahawks at that time. Looked like he was running down the middle of the defense wide open. to the Panther 30 yard line. However, what I want to say, opposite of Ricardo Smith, first and ten, Stephon Robinson from the Panthers. Played under Charlie Strong for the last three years. Okay. 
academically savvy, graduated in three years from Louisville and brought his talents down to Richmond, Virginia. There's a draw play. Straight up the middle for a gain of about two yards. Mari Kelly, the ball carrier, your tackle by Kamal El Sade. Kelly on the carry. We gained him maybe one yard on the carry. The nose guard was in on that tackle that time. He fought off the double team and made the tackle. One yard gain. Sienna Heights just inside the 30 yard line. Second and nine. With today's heat, Justin, I think we're going to see a lot of players playing today. And hopefully they keep hydrated down there. Looks like we have Henry Booth under center. Play action pass. The pass is incomplete. Is incomplete. It's in it for number 88, Lyle Van Fletcherin. They had been handing it off to that tailback that time. They faked him the quarterback roll to his left through incomplete Six pass. On the pass at 29. Big third down, third and nine. Amari Kelly comes out for Julius Taylor at the running back position. The oh, pass is complete. A lot of fans that we should stop that he's short. On the tackle, the the tackle. Of the for the Panthers, Camille on the five five short. Fourth down, Sienna Heights. Play carries to about the 20. The Lima did a good job reading the screen time. that time. They took about three steps and saw they weren't being blocked and fell back and made the four. tackle. They're going for a field goal. 41 yard field goal. And for the kick is Matt Horton. 41, Ben. 41 yard field goal. We have a timeout. Sienna. First timeout of the half. We have a break in action. Sienna hates timeout. First charge timeout of the half. Other than that big pass that they threw to the tight end, it, the, the defense looks pretty good. But having been to practice and seen Union. Looks like they're running the same offenses. Right, most Spread. definitely. <laughs> I would say the strongest part about the defense is that there are a lot of returners coming back. And with Coach James being a defensive coach previous to taking over as head coach, there's a lot of familiarity. Yes. You would think that your defense, since your head coach is a defensive special guy, your defense will be stronger most initially. And as we know, it takes time to build offense. So they really know his system then. That's that's great. Sienna Heights off is back on the field. They're going for it. Fourth and four. Travis Zikowski under center. Play action pick. Roll up. Zikowski's pass. It's, it's enough for a first it's down. The Donovan Campbell play carries for a Saints first down. Just looks like a great recovery there. Caught a few Panthers out of position. First play down. carries to the 17 yard line. Seven yard But that's your tight end. That tight end making another catch. Yes. Donovan Campbell, same tight end. Shaw the ball carrier. Joseph Blanks on the stop for the Panthers. Straight ahead dive into the middle of the Panther defense that time. Second down seven. They made a substitution at nose tackle. The Panthers running a three-four defense. And now it's ninety-four. James Brown. Again, is the number twenty-seven, Harry Kelly. Close, it's close to the first. Two, he has a first down at the five-yard line. 
The Saints well, landed up in a power backfield that time. They had a quarterback and three backs. So that was really set up for a power run that time because they ran a power play to the left. And other than those two big plays, the long pass down the middle and that fourth down conversion, the Panthers defense looks pretty good. Yeah. But just those minor mistakes. Here again, we just landed up in the power offense. Three backs in the backfield. Again, the dive. On the carry, number 32, Sean. Sean the carry. Down to the two. Carry to about the two-yard line to a game of three. Second down goal. Most of the fans have their hands on Sean. I'm sure they're going to line up in the same power offense that they've been in for the last few plays. Great defense that time. Kind of on the run for a loss of two. On the tackle, Joseph Bowman. Defensive line did a great job, and the linebacker stepped up on that play. Loss of two to the four, third down goal, six from the four-yard line. They're probably in four-down territory. If they went for it on the 20, I'm sure they're going for it fourth down here. Seems like this wing T is favored by the Santa High Saints. They come out in it again. Uh, another, almost another stop. On the carry, number, number 21, Fred Bragg. Joseph Blanks. On the stop for the Panthers, Joseph Blanks. Once again, Tiana Heights. Play is stopped short of the goal line, getting back to the two yard line. Four down, two to go. And goal from the two. I feel like situations like this is where the rubber meets the road. This is when you find out what your defense is all about. Backs against their own end zone, two yards to go. They keep bringing this wing T offense. The great play for this man is fake the dive and roll out with the quarterback to give himself some options. And to be honest, that's the play they use to Time pick out. up that quarterback. Yes. Timeout, Panthers. Seattle Lake Championship football game will be held this year on Saturday, November 19th, in Durham County Memorial Stadium in Durham, North Carolina. You can find more information on the Seattle Channel. I think this will be a, a big boost for us to stop him on this fourth down. They've kept the ball for almost eight minutes. I guess our offense and their defense are really rested right now because all they've done is watch for the last eight minutes. I would think that they've tried to run a run the ball in power football the last few plays. I think they're gonna fake it and roll out with the quarterback. The hard part here is if you make the stop, your offense takes over with their backs against their own end zone. So I feel like the play clock is limited in that respect. Thanks, fourth yes. down, goal from Causing the turnover. Two two yard line. We have single coverage at the top of the screen, top of the screen, top of the field with linebacker and one back over there on him. Let's see what happens. There's the fake, there's the rollout, and it's incomplete. Turn over now. They called it. The ball is going down to Virginia Union. Virginia Union first and ten from the Panther two-yard line. Yeah, we figured with single coverage at the top of the screen, and that's running the ball, he would roll that way. But he overthrew the ball. Good coverage on the cornerback anyway. Yes. Right in his hip pocket. Where he should have been. the Panther offense. First is number 12, Shaheen Dowdy. Shaheen Dowdy under center. Panthers first and 10 from the wrong two. They're in their power formation too. Another center makes timeout of the half. 
They've used two of their timeouts for the half of the first at this point, I think I think they lined up in something they hadn't seen there. Yeah, when the Panthers came out, there was a tight end in the backfield, a tight end in the slot, two normal receivers on the outside, and you're running back in the back next to your quarterback. Yes. And that's probably something Sianna hadn't seen, so the coach quite quickly called timeout to readjust. It looks like they're going back to the same formation. Number 16, Deontay Miller. But then you get first at 10 from the Panther two yard line. And Jesse York at the bottom of the field. Pistol offense. That's a flag. One of our linemen moves. Anderson Hayes, your center. Penalty moves the ball to the one yard line. That's his first. Move the ball. Oh, and 11 from the one. Have Jerome Robinson running back in the backfield. Hand off to Robinson. Ooh, he hits in the backfield. Ooh, Look, might be a safety. Looks like it is. On the carry, number 19, Jerome Robinson for the Panthers. They flag on the play. Doesn't look like he got out of the end zone. Let's see what the referee says. It's close. There are two flags on the play that were called after the play. They're trying to see whether or not he got out of the end zone. I think he did. One was most definitely on Sienna Heights. The place is against them. The dead, dead ball foul. I have a dead ball. I'm the right. Time's up. Number 22 of the defense. 15 yards. Automatic first time. That's a costly penalty by Sienna Heights. To have the Panthers stopped at the one yard line on the Robinson run. Now going forward to the, the ball on to yard Yes, Justin it looked like the ball was on the half half foot line. He just got out of the end zone on that. Play action fake, slant over the middle of Mantez Holmes. Bobby's pass intended for Mantez Holmes is incomplete. Virginia Union second half. 60 Addison Gaines. Ball spotted on the Panther 15 yard line. Panthers no huddle. Clock. The stoppers are play. The clock. And the backfield looks like number 88 CJ Kelly. Handoff. Robinson. Give it to number 19 for the Panthers. Rumbles forward for a good two yards. Jerome Robinson. On the stop for the Saints, Tyree Bragg, number 95. Play carries to the 18, game of three, third down, seven. Sienna looks like they're in a full man front. Looks like a 4-3. Quarterback keeper by Dowdy. Dowdy. Looks like he has enough for the first down. No, okay. it, that was enough for a first down. First down, Panthers. Dowdy. Michael Butler for the Saints. We have an injured player. There's an injury on the play. On one of the Sienna players. Looks like Dowdy's coming off for equipment. Kenny Graham. Yes, he had equipment. He's going. He'll be back in. That's get an equipment adjustment. I know the NCAA implemented the rule. Play carry play Panther first down up to the 26 yard line. So that looks like the case for Dowdy. Panthers first and 10 from the Panther 26 from play resume. We have a Sienna Heights third down on the field. And we're seeing that. Virginia Union boosters are selling raffle tickets for a book scholarship for student athletes of Virginia Union. The boosters will be selling the raffle tickets to each VU home game during the 2014 season. First prize is $250, with second prize being $100. Third prize will be $20 in lottery tickets. 
The draw will be held during the Virginia Union Virginia State football game on November 8th. The winner needs to be present to win. I'm not unable to see his number right now. We'll see. The trainers and the so many people around staff are out there. As soon as we can get his number, we'll give his name to you. There's a love in the lull in the action there as they attend to the injured Seattle player. While everybody was distracted, while Kenny Graham was walking on the field for Shaheen Dowdy, it looks like number three also subbed in, Linworth Lennon. It's another one of Coach James' kids that he coached in high school. So Coach James has that Florida connection, huh? Most definitely. Good. In total, he has five student athletes that are playing for him now. That previous that previously played for him. It looks like it's number 22 who's being taken off. Look like it's a leg injury. 22 is Nick Acton, junior linebacker out of Battle Creek, Michigan. Battle Creek, Michigan. Okay. Panthers offense takes the field. Correction number 22, that's Aston, the end of First and 10 on Union's 26. Jerome Robbins is still in the background. Kenny Graham next to First and 10, Panthers. Lennon Lindworth and Mike Jesse York at the bottom of your screen. Hand off to Robinson. Tackle for a loss. Looks like those little the ball carrier. That, that whole opening and closed right quickly for Robinson that time. Play carry actually lost on the play. One to the 25. Kenny Graham and Mantez Holmes come off the field. Shaheen Dowdy and number 10. Second down, and 11. Gotcha, Bruce. Union in a bunch formation to the right. Single receiver to the left. Robinson in the back to the right of Dowdy. Motion by Cross. Hand off to Robinson. Good tough run. Robinson the ball carrier. Tangled by number 55, C.J. Marius for the Saints. Six yard Eight game. To the 31. Game of six. Third and five. Three to 35 for the Panthers. Four minutes and 24 seconds left in the first quarter. Motion to the right. Got in the center. Rose in motion. Hand off to Robinson. Robinson, the ball carrier. As a whole. Tackled this, by another. Looks like he has a first down. That's enough for a Panther first down. Play carry, play Panther first down. Panther first and ten. The Saints look like they're still in their 4 3 cover 2 defense with two deep safeties. Cross in motion again. Quick pass. Ah. 21. Slant over the middle. Deflected by the Siena Height line. Right here. Pass 21. Is down by Trent Bragg. Incomplete. Trent Briggs. Second down, 10 Panthers from the wrong 37. Had Briggs not got his hand on that ball? The receiver was wide open. Oh, yes. Man. Yes, he was wide open. But lime on the torch. When the quarterback takes a short drop, take your step and get your hands up. Shaheem Dowdy steps Dowdy up. Ah, wide oh, open. Oh, there was oh, nobody oh, in the area. The quarterback saw him running that time. He should have pulled up and thrown that. He should have just pulled up and... Laid it out there for him. He's out there by itself. Third and ten. Three receivers at the top of the screen. Ross Lindworth and Miller. At the bottom, York. Robinson still in the backfield with Dowdy. That was a legal procedure. We had some alignment moving for the Panthers. Four I'm 75. I'll be on Five yards. Third down. Is 
it looks like both teams are suffering for those early the ball back to Yes, the first yeah. game I, I expect to see uh, quite a few mistakes because the greatest improvement is between your first and second game. Another pass. That is pass. Now he the middle to Gross. Fourth down and 15. Troy Crepe back to punt. Hmm. I'm trying to see what it is, 20. Crepe to punt for the Panthers. That's good. Look like it's number 20. This kid is excellent. It's picked up by Love at the 10-yard line. Great coverage on that play. Great coverage. Carl Calhoun to the Panthers. Carl Calhoun on the tackle. Just inside the 15-yard line. That's a Jaquan DeLove was back, received that put for the Saints. He fumbled it. Saints with a first and 10 from the Saints 15 yard line. Yeah. Hmm. 54 yard punt. That's a great no play. Return. By first down and down 10 from the 15 for the Saints. Nothing but open field. For him to break down and make that tackle was a tremendous play in that open field. Look like the Saints are still in their pistol offense. The Cowboys pass. pass. Incomplete. Intended for number 13 right here. Up by number five, Stephon Robinson. That transferred a little bit. Is it's broken up. Incomplete. Good, good break on the pass by the defensive back on that play. Pass was broken up by number five, Devon Robinson. I had the pleasure of interviewing Robinson earlier in the week for another project that we were working on. And for the same the kid coach from Louisville, or uh, uh, New Orleans, oh, Louisiana, he was telling me about how he was misplaced by Katrina. and All that. He's been through it all. All that he's been through. And he said that it's made him such a better person, it's, experiencing all those trials and tribulations. He say after all that, he's still here. Exactly. As a play action fake. Kowski's pass is complete. Number 13, Dunson. Post the Panthers on the tackle. Raphael Dunson. Number 26, Charles Davis. That was Raphael Dunson out of the backfield that time. Looks like Chuck Davis and number 55. Play carries to the 25, gain of 10. Boy, first down for the Saints. Saints first and 10 from their own 25. And the ice breaks the huddle. One receiver to the top of the field. Tight end next to the tackle. Hand off right up the middle. Top of four yard run. Right. So the ice. Amari Kelly. Amari Kelly, the ball carrier. Play carries to the. 28 for a game of three, second down, seven. Right after that, Kerry Kelly gets sold out. Two, three, four, five, six, five. Santa Hyde breaks the huddle with three receivers at the top of the field. One down bottom. Puts the formation. Play action, rolls right. Zakowski pass. Ball is in the air. Incomplete. Okay. Instead of the number 15, Curtis Smith is incomplete out of bounds. Travis Zakowski is the president. President is a quarterback Saints for the Saints. Is, is a quarterback for the Saints today. Right. Saints Zakowski is a junior quarterback out of Morley, Michigan. Our intercepted. 
Looked like there was holding on your on your lineman for the Saints. Looks like there's going to be holding on the Saints. Interception by Charles Chuck Davis. In the area of all those flags, it's usually defensive. I mean, offensive holding on the offensive lineman. I'm sure you and you're going to turn down the penalties and take the ball. Yes. Charles Davis, 6'2", 188 pounds, junior. On the Saints 25 yard line. Approximately two minutes and two seconds remaining in the first quarter of a scoreless game. Dowdy hands off to number 14, Eric Shaw. Eric Shaw, the ball carrier for the Panthers. Stopped by a host of Saints on that play. Looked like it's no game. Fred Bragg, number 21, number 95, to Eric Bragg on the tackle. Also, number 33, George Miller Martin, no game field. on the play. Second I, and 10. I think we're going to find out whether or not these defensive bats can check deep. We haven't thrown deep yet. Oh, Lowry left where the wide open pass is sacked by number 55, C.J. Marius. You think maybe that's why we haven't gone deep, because we haven't had time. There's a difference in a two-step drop and a seven-step drop. At that time, he took a seven-step drop, so he was going deep. Third down. Panthers come out of the same formation. Cross, Lindenworth, and York at the bottom of your screen. Miller at the top. Eric Shaw in the backfield with Dowdy. Dowdy drops Dowdy. back. Throw it to the work. First down, Panthers. Great catch. Lynn Worth Leonard. That pass was made by Lynn Worth Leonard, a 5'2", 190 pound wide receiver. Play carries to the 23-yard line. First and 10, Virginia Union. Offensive line did a great job. Miller still at the top. Shaw the ball carrier for Dana. Eric Shaw on the carry for the Panthers. Strong two yards. On the tackle, number 41, Nate Yellowstone for the the way the, the way the linebacker closed on that play, I'm looking to see the quarterback pull it out and keep it itself on the next play. The D ain't crushed down so fast on that tackle. Let's see what the quarterback keeps this. Man says Holmes in for Frost. Dowdy's Dowdy pass Dowdy is complete to Lennon. Dowdy gets it back to the 15. About two yards short. It's two yards short from the first down. Third and two. Gain of seven. Third and three. They're not going to get this play off before the quarter ends. And that's the end of the first quarter. Your score, 0-0. Zero, zero. The Panthers marching toward the end zone right at the 15. That's the end of the first quarter. Our score, Panthers nothing, Saints nothing. That was a, it looked like a feeling out quarter for both teams to try to figure out, probing here, probing there, see what's going on. We'll, they're going to both open it up a little more, I think, this next quarter. This is the first meeting of these two teams. Uh, Siena Heights is from Adrian, Michigan, has an enrollment of 2,200 kids. The nickname the Saints and the colors are blue and, and gold. First quarter stats. <laughs> First quarter stats, 
pretty dead even. That explains the score. Uh, Sienna Heights only rushed for 23 yards, Virginia Union 17. Foot fans, tickets for the upcoming home football game. Fast yards for Sienna we'll Heights. We'll be on sale at the Virginia Union ticket office in the well, Sienna Heights Monday through Thursday from 8.30 to 4.30. At 8.30 to 6.30, I'm sorry, 5.30 to 6.30. Yeah, First down, the pretty equal. Sienna has five, Union has four. So. So Union was deep in their territory, and they were deeper in our territory early in the game. So we'll see what happens next. I'll tell you, if Virginia Union punches it in here, this will explain it. This third line from the bottom. Third down conversions, Union 3 of 4, Santa Heights 1 of 4. All right. That'll make the difference in the game. Third and three, Panthers. On the same 15-yard line. And I think we might be in four-down territory. Dowdy with the snap. Dowdy with the carry. Dowdy fumbles. Fumble on the play. We cover. Dowdy fumbles. We cover by the Saints. Ah, uh, turnovers, turnovers. We cover by number 59, Tanner Buehler. Quarterback, when you become a running back, you have to protect the football. Tuck it and put it away. Two costly turnovers, one by each team in the red zone. Saints will take over first and ten from their own 14-yard line. We got a turnover on an interception. We gave it back on a fumble. Sienna Heights takes the field, two receivers at the top, tight end. Carry on the play. Sean Lamar carrier, tackled by number six, Willie Bailey. 36 correction on the tackle. Trevante Nash. For big eight-yard pickup, second and two, Sienna Heights. Trevante Dash came in on mid that tackle. Gain of eight to the 22, second down and two. Dash is a 6'3", 195-pound junior. Carry by number 13. Dunson, the ball carry. All down. Joe Blanks, number 2, number 90. Darrell Lamb and others on the tackle. That's ball is ruled down. Game to the 28-yard line, and a St. first down. That's the jet play that most teams run where they get the wide receiver in, in motion across the formation and giving him the ball. When he receives that ball, he in full speed, so it's usually a good play. They've been running him in motion all day, so it was only a matter of time until we saw it. Seattle High School to number 13. To number 13. That's a nine-yard pickup. On the stop for the Panthers, number 22, Kevin Gordon. I thought Zachary Purse was going to make that tackle. He was there in, in position. He just missed the tackle. Play carries to the 38-yard line. Stepping up, stepping in for the Panthers, number 56. And a safe first down. Gain of 10 on the play. And number 22, Brian Gurley, stepping in for Cassidy McDowell. Burley Gurley just came in as a free safety. The Jack. I think we're going to see a lot of players here today. It's warm. Show the ball, carrier. Straight ahead dive. A host of passes in on the tackle. Number 51, Dominic Rowan on the tackle. Play carries to the 41-yard line, gain is three. Looks like this battle between Second down, seven. wide receiver Reggie Blackman and cornerback Stephon Robinson is getting a little chippy down at the bottom of the field. Flags and whistles. Have a flag on the play. On stop, on 34, open, five yards, three straight, second match. Start 
That will make it second and about 12. Another flag goes in the air. I think you I think you don't get a flag on Union sideline. Moves ball back to the 36 yard line. I see the coach pushing the players back, so I think that's a disorder. Sideline yeah. infraction. Sideline infraction. We need a get back coach on the sideline. Yes. And I'm sure they they've been warned, so that's why the flag came up. Oh, he took it back. Sideline infraction against the Union. Please reset the game clock at 12 minutes and 40 seconds. 12 minutes, 40 seconds. Seven seconds. Reset the clock to 12 minutes, 40 seconds. The time just happened to be 12.40. And I think the ref gave them a warning on this play. The next one will be a penalty. Second down, 12 from the 36. Motion. It should be set. Helmet comes off. Set. Under pressure. Under pressure. Great pressure that time. Travis Sikowski sacked by a host of Panthers. Helmet comes off, so he's going to have to sit out for a play. Yep. That's the rule. If your helmet is coming off and in the way, you have to sit out of play. He doesn't seem to be injured or anything, but he did lose his helmet, so he has to sit out of play. Third down, 14. Subbing in is from the pressure, freshman Nick Gilliam. The Panthers are still in their 3 5 defense. Now, I think on any other down, this would be a simple run. Wait until your starting quarterback comes back in. But it's third. Now On the keeper, the flag is down. Got the flag on the play. Tackle made by number 47. Tackle by number 47, Zachary Perch for the Panthers. Tackle the flag on the play. Usually where the flag is thrown, it's usually holding. Let's see what we have. What I was saying before the tackle was made, on a third down like this, well, on a regular play when you're second string quarterback has to come in because of the Equipment issues, you would think it's going to be a run. Yeah, yeah just hand off because he's cold. He hasn't warmed up in it. Just get your start. Okay. That yes. was 30 very long for Sienna Heights. So. And there was an offensive holding. The Panthers has declined it, so it has a punt coming up. That'll bring them fourth down situation for the Saints. Well, it's spotted on the Saint 37 yard line. Looks like Robinson's back deep to receive the punt. Donovan Campbell, number nine, the punt for the Saints. He should get good, pretty good field position out of this. Number 49 in the back for Sienna Heights. Hold him up. Snap. Hold him up. Punt. Right to the front is Kyle Hahn, number 46. Punt goes out of bounds. That's about 42 yards. 42 yard yards. punt, no 42, return. 42 yard punt, no return. But in the unit first and ten. Let's get us a drive together and put this ball in the end zone. Ball spotted on the twenty one yard line. Panthers first and ten from their own twenty one. Seems like the only issue they have there is just finishing the drive. Yes. Like I say, that first game, all these kids out here with jitters and everything else, your most improvement is from your first to your second game. Got it with the handoff. Carried by number Smith to the 32, the ball carrier, tackled by number 31, Nick Yellowstone. Gain of six. Gain of five to the 26, second down, five. Miller across at the top of your street. Lennon and York at the bottom. The snap. Dottie pass. Pass to York. Look like, like, look, like look, like look, like look like it might be a face mask on that. Penalty flag on the play. Tanner Brewer, number 59 on the tackle for the Saints. Look like most of the slants that we run today have been open. The one that we missed. Fifteen yards. 
to the end of the line, go fast. And it's obviously tough from up here, but the middle of the field is wide open. No, they don't have a free safety. The defense that they're playing is a cover two, and we go to the slot, they go over there favoring the slot. Penalty moves the ball to the Panther 47 yard line. So we need to hit something in the middle of the First field. First and 10. Dotted with the snap. Hand off to Smith. No hold there at all. Smith, the ball carrier. No hold. No hold at all that time. Number 51 on the tackles. Number eight, Holmes. Subs in for number 10, Cross. No gain on the play. Same formation. Holmes and Miller at the top of the screen. And, and the reason we don't have anybody in the middle, they're playing cover too. Look at the two safes that's sitting on the hash. Dottie's pass is oh. back to the air. Woo. Intended for Mantez Holmes. To Mantez Holmes. Pass is really good with that catch. That Almost was, an interception on that play. That was a tough catch there, and plus the ball was high. Receivers not do not like to go in the middle of the field with high passes because it exposed their ribs. <laughs> Blitz. Dowdy drops back. Blitz. Under Dowdy severe pressure. Those are the way on third down. That'll be a fourth and ten for the Panthers. It'll bring them a fourth down situation for Virginia here. In fourth and ten from their own forty-seven. That was a delayed blitz by the safety that time. I don't think Dowdy accounted for him or that offensive line accounted for him either because he broke clear. Number 15 back deep to return the punt for Sierra Heights, Curtis Smith. Troy Kepnitz to punt. Traffic to punt. Kickers away. Curtis Smith. Looks like he got a hand on it. Almost blocked. Punch bounces and takes a safe bounce. He did get a hand on it. That's why he didn't. That's why he didn't get rough in the past. Kicker. And the defense takes the field once again. Seventeen-yard punt, no return. We'll give the Saints a first and ten from the Saint thirty-seven-yard line. Punters do not like that seventeen-yard punt. It messes with the average. But the guy that came in to get the hand on the punt came straight up the middle. We are deadlocked with 10 minutes left in the second quarter. 0-0. Zero, zero. Santa Height takes over from 30, about 37-yard line. There's a fake. Uh, the Dowski is wide open. open catch. Yes, and a fumble. Number 88 is fumble. Wow, they call it, sir. I don't. I don't know about that because he took a few steps after catching that ball. Passes through the incomplete. Number two, two catches McDowell on the huge hit. Who was that again? That was the tight end. That the middle of the field. Another sideline infraction by Virginia Union. Replay first down. Replay first down. Sideline means there are too many players too close to the field. Sideline infraction penalty against the Panthers. No, he has to, to be aggravated to on the field to get penalized for the people that aren't on the field. Those of you that have played football and those that don't, there's a line that separates the area that First the players are not supposed to be in, and they were warned earlier, so this time they got a flag. Sideline players got the flag on that play. There's a blitz. The pass is in the air. Zikowski is passed. A wide open Reggie Blackman. Reggie Blackman is incomplete. I think the quarterback will have to get that one back because the receiver was five yards past the defender down on that play. That's two plays in a row, man. There's been a wide open receiver deep down the field. Yep. After all the praise I gave to the secondary. What, what I'm seeing, though, that the, the corners are playing press coverage. 
And if you ain't press coverage and don't put your hand on the receiver, he releases high. clean. So it's hard to, to check him if you don't put hands on him in press coverage. From the seat, 42 yard line. We in press coverage on the slot, and the receiver hit the bottom of the field. Tukowski passing wide open catch again to number two, two Kelly Brent Briggs. Oh. Tackle by the Panthers number twenty-six Charles Davis. Play carries into the Union territory. For a safe first down, play carries to the Panthers thirty-seven yard line. That was great coverage by the secondary that time, but that was a linebacker who lost caught to the back who sneaked out of the backfield on that play. That was nobody within 10 yards of it. Saints going from left to right now. It'll be first down, and there's another play. Got a there's another flag on the on the field. Look like it's coming from Sienna High sideline. Something probably was said by one of the coaches. Yeah, I'm sure that coach had a few words. We're sitting flag number four. Sideline warning against Sienna High. That's their first warning. Sideline warning. Yeah, just another sideline warning. So that one. Kind of they move the ball back to the point. Point. Point after two, that, it'll be first down 15 for Sienna. Look out for the tight end. He's the one that's been hurting us. Motion. Kukowski's pass. It's the move to number 34. Stop by number 58 for the Panthers. Miguel Gray. Play carries to the 33. What they're doing on that play is faking the back. He's going through the line. He's going through the, through the line and find the open area. He'll take the fake, go through the line and find the open area. Everybody else is going deep. Run up the middle again by Fox. He breaks the tackle. Fox rumbles down inside the 20 yard line. Oh, flags all, all over the field the again. Laundry all over Number the field. Number 47, Anthony Fox. And unfortunately, that's going to be against the Panthers. A little extracurricular after the play. Somebody came in after the ball was blown dead. First one of these like conducts, one on each side, so both penalties offset each other. Then. We'll have first down from the 20. Santa Heights, two wide receivers at the bottom of the field. All right. Uh, tight end line up to the left. Running back. That's a hurting us. That's a slot and a wing. Slot right, wing left. Fumble. Fumble on the exchange. Recovered by number 18. The couch game, number 47, on the sack for the Panthers. Quarterback Zakaus missed the handoff and therefore the ball hits the ground. The play back to but he the recovered it. Line. Loss of nine, second down. Both well, offenses are driving the ball, but neither one can get in the end zone. Four wide receivers in the heights, two on each side. Motion to the left. The yes. pass is complete to Curtis Smith. Tackle by number 26 for the Panthers, Charles Davis. That was a great tackle. That was a good one-on-one -on -one tackle in open field by Davis. 
That's about third and 14. Play carry for five to the 24, third down. Third and 14, let's see what happens. Third down 14. Normally a passing 24. down. Four receivers hit the field. Three down bottom, one at the top. Just a formation. Fox in the backfield. The Cowboys pass is complete to Dunson. Uh, the the tackle are on the land of the body from Panthers. I think they're going for a field goal. That's the field goal team coming in. Fourth down five. Matt Horton attempting a 36-yard field goal. 23. It's only 23. It's about 33 yards. Yeah. 33. 25 seconds. Clock should be running. 33 yards. Yeah. That's blocking. Blocking. Snap the kick. That's good. No good. I'm kick no good. Off to the right. No good. Wide right, so we get the ball first and ten. Going the other way. Virginia Union takes over. Panthers. I thought for sure those were going to be the first. First and ten. Yes. The ball being spotted at the twenty-yard line. Here we go again, Panther fans. First down. Just inside the 20-yard line, headed out. Dottie and Robinson in the backfield. Ross and Miller at the top of the field. Holmes and York at the bottom. Dottie in the center. Snap. Hand off to Robinson. Robinson stuffed in the backfield. Throw Robinson the ball carry. Lost about five. 41, Nate Yellowstone. Panthers will be going into the wind for this last part of the second quarter. Pass of three to the 17, second down 13. Pretty stiff wind blowing from left to right in the Panthers' face at this time. Dowdy with the snap. Dowdy is sacked. Ball dead. Sacked by number 92. Dowdy was sacked that time, but they didn't rush with three men. They dropped. Eight and, and rush three, and we got a sack. Should have enough time to get that off. We move down, lost on the play to the 13. Third down. Kenny Graham sums up for Shaheem Dowdy. I think it's clear to see the weakness of this offense is the offensive line. Yeah, they're having Third problems. Down, they're having problems keeping the people off. Them. Three receivers to the bottom of the, bottom of the screen. Kenny Graham pass is complete. It's down. Roll down. It's down. Pass complete to Devontae Miller. In about nine, ten. Fourth and five. As a punt unit comes over to tackle by number three, Michael Butler for the Saints. With five minutes and twelve Play seconds left before half. Five. Let's get a good kick, play some defense, go in at halftime and make your adjustments. Fourth and five. Panthers to punt. Last time it was almost blocked when we had a hand on it last time. They were sitting up for the return this time. Panthers to punt. Punt bounces. Let it roll, roll, and roll. Rolls dead at about the That's about the 36. 36-yard line. That was a 38-yard punt that rolled in the 36. No return. Ball is spotted at the sink 37-yard line. Official timeout to water. 
We would like to recognize all the incoming freshmen to Virginia Union University. Let's give it up for the class of 2018. It's a lovely day here on Union's campus for football. I look around, the stands are not too bad. Of course, there aren't too many fans on the uh, Siena Heights side because they're coming all the way from Michigan. In a pretty clean football game with no scoring so far. It's about 4 minutes and 49 seconds left in the halftime. Sienna's coming out pretty much with the same guys. We have trips to the right, pistol formation with a long back at the top of the field. Big version 10 from the same 37 yard line. Single coverage at the top of the field. I'm looking for them to go deep at any time. Right across. Uh, right. Big hit by Chuck Davis on the middle of number four. Damala Baye. I did the intended receiver. Baye, yeah, that's him. I'm still thinking they're going deep at the top of the formation against the single coverage. And they have the win at his back, so I think the quarterback going to try. It's been shown over and over that it, that deep middle is the weak spot in that Panther defense. So if I were Sienna Heights, I would try my best to exploit that. Flags on the play. Flags on the play. All star called on number 77, Alex Stevens. This being the first game again for each team, you expect all these type things. Suddenly lose the ball to the 32-yard line. Second down, 15. Saints from their own 32. Santa Heights trips at the top of your screen. We have a linebacker checking that slot, man. I think they're going deep. The Kowski. Kowski under pressure. Throws it away. Throws it out of bounds and pivot to Blackman. Yes, yeah, yeah. he was. Well, bring up a third and fifteen. He was under pressure that time. He just he just mailed that one to the sidelines. Third and fifteen for Sienna Heights. We should get the ball back with some time on the clock. We stop this. Looks like Virginia Union subbed in the dime package. And it's important on this play that the DBs know where the first down marker is. Five DBs on the field. Yes. The Kowski's pass across the middle is complete. First down. First down. Joe Blanks, Charles Davis. And Kevin Gordon on the tackle. Play carries for a St. First down to the St. 48 yard line. And 13, Randolph Dunson on the catch. Raphael Dunson, sorry. 16 yard gain on the play. Swing right formation. Straight ahead handoff. Fox, big hole up the middle. Rumbles forward for first down. Zach the ball carrier. That was a big hole that time, and he hit it right away. Initial contact, Cassius McDowell, also another stop. Phil Smith for the Panthers. Blake carries into Panther territory to about the Panther 42 yard line. That was a quick hitter, and good for 11 yards. Safe first down. I think we're going to see that again. I just noticed Sienna Heist has been huddling up. After that first drop, Santa Heist is going to a huddle opposed to the flag down. Opposed to the quick start formation. Full stop. Number nine. Of the offense. Five yards. First down. Full start on Santa Heist. 
bring him back to the first and 15. the ball to the but, 47. But even at that, the huddle is first two back. two yards from the line of scrimmage. So this traditionally the huddle is about seven or eight yards back. Right. They just two yards from the ball. So the big guys. Fox but, again on the carry. It seemed content on the ball carrier. The con seemed content running out the clock. I thought I would see more South. footballs in there with three Brian minutes Neely. with three minutes before half and the wind to his back. Gaining three to the forty-four. Yeah, Santa Heisey's figure they have time. The holding are been there, so second down twelve. Why not run a little bit? Well, I just saw the big guys go off the field and look like the speeds have just come in, so I think they might throw it this time. Changing personnel. One tight end at the top of the screen. Uh, two receivers. Tight end motion to left to right. Kowski pulls it. Pass. It's out of bounds. Incomplete. Well, we were correct and said they were bringing in the speed package. <laughs> two minutes and 28 seconds left before halftime in the score of this game so far. It's now third and about 13, third down 12. 12. Third and 12. Spotted at the Panther 44 yard line. The tight end down the middle has been their big play. Let's see what happens. Looks like Union has called a timeout. Second timeout of the half. That, that time on looked like it came from the head coach. I see him down there, there telling the guys. Have There hadn't been a lot of penalties. We having a lot of false starts, which you can expect early, but there hadn't really been a lot of holding or personal falls involved in the game. Although there hasn't been many penalties, the penalties that have occurred have been the most costly. In my yeah. Opinion. A couple of them have taken both teams out of prison. Pretty much out of scoring. Out of scoring in yep. general. What I would expect more from the Seattle Saints would be holding penalties. They've had a few for though. But here again, we'll see. I would think that this is definitely a passing down. Third and long. Kowski drop back under pressure. Passing. Interception. Great. That was a great job on his part. He read the quarterback all the way and patterned him as he went to the sideline on that rollout, and he was between the receiver and the quarterback. Great job on his part. Have to give a lot of the credit for that play to Gene Crawford, putting so much pressure on the quarterback. Quarterback. He was really running for his life when he threw that ball. I know he heard him behind him. 97 put great, great pressure on him that time. He changed quarterbacks. They have changed quarterbacks. Kenny Graham is under center with Eric Shaw in the backfield. Miller still at the top of the screen. Gross, Lennon, and York at the bottom. There's a snap. Graham drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Kenny Graham on Graham the carry is tackled by number 55 you, the same C.J. Marius. Your offensive linemen are not sustaining their blocks. Yeah, at all. Lost the like core on the play to the 32. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're, make, they're making initial contact, then they're letting the man get away, and then that's staying with him. Same formation. Graham, snap. Graham steps up. Graham on the keeper. 
Graham on the keeper. Gets back to the original first down line. The original line of scrimmage, really. Just short up. Here again on the pass, so they're trying to throw. They're, they're not. They're not quick passes, so the line are gonna have to stay with their blocks. And the last three plays, Sienna has not blitzed in the linebacker, so it's mano a mano, mano a mano, lineman on lineman. number thirteen, Jamal Wright. Come to blitz this time. He escapes, rolls out. Incomplete pass. Incomplete pass to Miller. Intended for number 16, Devontae Miller. It'll bring up a fourth down situation for the Panthers. The offense, the offense going to have to give the defense some more rest than what they're giving them. Three and out gives them not a chance to regroup, but here again we have 57 seconds before halftime. Quad love deep for the Saints. Pepe's his punt. Fumble that ball. He's taken by Love at about the 29 yard line. Oh! oh. oh. And Panther ball! Looks like the Panthers might have recovered that ball. It looks like they. It looks like they were there to get it. We'll see. A lot of Panthers celebrating. But they are not the official. Panthers football. Number 47. Fumble is recovered by the Panthers. Number 47. Zachary Kirsch. Ashby getting for Mike Ashby. Ashby getting it for Panther first down. Panther first down. First and 10 Virginia Union from the Saint 35 yard line. Let's get in the end zone there. Panthers take off at the 35-yard line. 34-yard punt, 4 yard return, fumble, and recovered by the Panthers, fumble by Love. It looked like they're playing pass defense. We might be able to break a run here. This drop has to go to the end zone. Graham's pass is bounds. complete. Okay. Miller on the completion from Graham. The number 16, the bounce Miller. 44 seconds left on the clock. The Panthers are inside the 30-yard line. We have time. Michael Butler on the stop for the Saints. Let's get something on the scoreboard before halftime, even if it's just a field goal. Play like carries to the 27, second down two. Second down and two. Graham and Shaw in the backfield. Graham rules left. Oh, Graham is sacked. Is sacked. By number 21, Kip Brown. 73. 73 went to help the quarterback up that time. You know why? Because that was his man, yes. That was his man. Number 21, Trent Briggs on the tackle, on the sack. Timeout Panthers. Loss is back to the 39-yard line. Yeah, he keep he beat Kevin that time. While we have a break in action, I want to invite everybody to in your spare time visit. Lots of swell. We're bringing up a third down for the Panthers. And that's huge. Yeah. 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 And we would like to invite all you football fans to come on out on Lombardi Avenue, Lombardi Street, really, and enjoy some Union Pet football and spend some time with some Union fans. Great day to spend a Saturday afternoon. The fans have six home games this year. Starting with today, Sienna Heights. The next one will be next week. Charleston University out of West Virginia. Let's get back to action. Second and 13. Third, third, third and 13, excuse me. Kenny Graham with the snap. Back. 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 To number three, Usually when you get a flag, you need to get a flag is either roughing the passer or holding. Let's see what we get. Roughing the passer. That's 15 yards. 15 yard added. 
Yeah, and having played that position is so nice when the back there is protection. Once you throw on the ball, you're pretty happy. Personal foul penalty moves the ball to the eleven yard line. The Panthers eleven yard line. I mean, the timeouts do we have? First and ten. Panthers. All the timeouts. From the eleven yard line. Looks like they going to call a quarterback penalty. Quarterback penalty. Look, they're going to quads over here. Look like. Five receivers. Four to the right. Wide open. Wide open, Miller. Get out of bounds. Didn't get out. Get up and down. They got to hurry up and down the ball. Hurry up and just throw it down. Stop the clock. Down it. Down it. Down it. There you go. Okay. Now, do you want a field goal or you going to do something? He down to the time. I tell you personally, Willie, I'm a gambler, so. You want to go for it? You're, in the, you're, you're inside the five yard line. Why not? I don't think you. I don't think you'll be inside the five. The penalty they're gonna put us further back. I'm gonna get a field goal. No score. Field goal. Looks like Coach in, James agrees with you. As a field goal unit takes the field. Look at this though. Look where it's gonna be from. Dead ball. I'll be out there. Another costly penalty by the Panthers. You own the inside the 10, and you can get a 15 yard penalty. And look at the flag. You kick it into the wind. Come on, Troy. Here they come. Back to attempt the kick. Time out. Time out, Sienna. Sienna. And that was a costly penalty. Based on what had happened, you had a completion, the ball going out of bounds, the play was. What was the need? What was the need for that? You tell the kids all the time, you know, Virginia don't Virginia beat Virginia yourself. I'd like to thank the first Thursday group for their outstanding support like I said, of Jesus Pastor. Of thank you, yes, first very Thursday group. Yes, costly. Right, this so was definitely a costly one. Toyota, Better Men's Wear, Food Line, Pepsi, and the law firm of Reinhard Hopper and Davis. Thank you to our sponsors. So, so instead of getting a chip shot, now you got to kick it 39 yards against the win. Kick is up. The wind, the wind, the wind blew it back. The, the wind blew it back. Good. <laughs> Looked like it was going to be wide right. <laughs> That's a kick of the half with on and on that last play of the half with the successful field goal attempt, the score is three nothing and be as half time. Thirty nine yard field goal at the end of the first half of play will give the Jimmy Union a three and zero score. We go off at half time. We go off at half time. Virginia Union, the basketball team, will be holding tryouts at 7 a.m. on Saturday, October 18th, as well as Stephen Carl. In order to try out, you must have a two and a half cumulative GPA or an equivalent high school GPA. You may also try out. I'll be talking about the band there. He's a like, year. For more information, contact assistant head coach Ronnie Rogan Williams at LC Williams at VCU. We're going to get some stats anyway, so. Let's take a quick time out during halftime, watch a little bit of the show, right? Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the Tri-City. See how far we can go down to the President's box and get a plate. As the Virginia sure. Union University ambassadors of sound prepare to show up and show out. Are we doing Mr. Drum too? Major, the so. field is yours. 
since I'm not coaching high school football, they give me an opportunity. Yeah. Oh, man. Ain't no whole lot of stats. <laughs> What's that? Ain't no whole lot of stats. Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> Feed us. Feed us. It's <laughs> our protest. I know Miss Jackson was over there. Uh, let me call her and see if we can get somebody. If I had to pay for it, feed me. Nothing. Yes, sir. Hey, Willingham. Hey, Marvin Willingham. Hey, Marvin Willingham. Hey, Marvin Willingham. Hey, hey, guys. We, we on the radio. We on the radio. On the radio. Ain't nothing to talk about. <laughs> Look, what is that to talk about? <laughs> Hey, Beverly Jones. Hey, Beverly Taylor. Hey, Beverly Taylor. Who's that right there? Is that Beverly? Hey, man. I'm retired, man. I can't go in there, Hubert. I can do that there. Hey, I'm on the radio. I ain't doing no coaching, man. None. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I know what? The old line is a problem. The A A block nobody. I know the line ain't block nobody. Hey man, touch it. Whip got a team. I mean, do they have a number to even get on the team? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, doing nothing. Yeah. So you got them dressed. That's for numbers. Hey, man. We're going to slow it down a bit. Yeah. And we need to get out of the domain of history. You're coaching over there? I told him, man. Look, they said they didn't want any old coaches at Huguenot. That's okay. Fine with me. I, I understand. We have no business in the Dominion District. But you know what our ADs are doing? They're taking their paycheck and let these kids get beat up. Put Bird and Bird and Manchester now. Yeah. Who played? Who y'all played last night? 69. And they took it easy. Yeah. Should have been 100. It ain't fair. Oh, so this, that's what I keep doing. But you know what? They worried about a little bit of money that their kids going to make getting that whipping. You know, that's not bad to the kids. And you're going to make some money. You're going to make some money. Come on, if, if you're in the conference, you got to travel. Travel where? Travel to Huguenot? Travel to TJ? There ain't no whole lot of travel. And Patrick Henry and them in the same place we are, so that's what we play. But now you want to send the bird. Yeah. That's how we're supposed to be playing. Because Peterburg ain't tough. They beat us last night 20 to 12, so they, they need to be playing each other. Now you're going to play Bird in Manchester. I 
know. So you got a hold on. Tell me you got a new school. But yeah, you don't got to be six and nothing. I don't want to come to practice next week. Yeah, I want to play. Ain't tell me you got a brand new school. But damn, you ain't get this no student. Yeah. Still, going down. Still on. Oh. <laughs> Let me get my mic. Oh, I'm muted. Turn it down.
to Linwood Lennon. The DAT was good by Corey Kepich. Virginia Union 10. Diana Heights, nothing. Okay, the fans, if you missed any of that, we have a Panther touchdown. Three-yard pass from Shaheem Dowdy to wide receiver Linwood Linworth. Linworth Linwood. Number six. That's our score, 10 to 0. Panthers up with 12 and a half minutes left in the quarter. The Panthers took the football and marked straight down the field and scored this time. Great offensive execution. Looks like whatever Coach James said there at halftime really kicked the Panthers. The to kick off for the Panthers. We are Troy, Troy Pepic kicking off. There's the kick. Headed for the end zones about four yards deep. Kick is down to the end zone by Raphael Dunson. Vincent decided not to bring it out. So Sienna Heights will take over from the 20 yard line. Uh, let's see if the defense comes out with the same intensity that the offense came out with. Ball well, spotted at the 25 yard line, first and 10. Defense hasn't been playing bad at all, but there are a couple holes in the secondary that Sienna Heights has been able to find an extra. But luckily, they've been able to keep him off the board thus far in the game. Again, first and 10, 12 and a half minutes left in the quarter. Snap, the run. Fox on the carry. Strong five yards. That was a that was a hard running on Fox's spot that time. Gain of run on the play. Second down nine. Number 26. Same play. Fox. Fox, the bad carrier. Maybe a loss. Tackled by a host of Panthers. Yeah, he really didn't get in the yards. And Dante ran on the tackle. Third down four from the 31. Look like in most cases when they have this, the quarterback fakes into the line and rolls out. Let's see what it does this time. Look like a power formation this time. Look like they're going to run it into the line. Big run up the middle. Carried by number 32. Shaw, the ball carrier. Shaw. Cassius McDowell and Devari Neal. That's going to be a Saints first down. Play does carry for a safe first down. They ran power off tackle on that particular play. Yeah. It's still in the power formation. Direct snap to running back. A mother Kelly the ball carrier. Thirty four. Ricardo Smith for others on the tackle for the Panthers. Amari Kelly. Gain of two to the 39, second down, eight. Little single win that time. It snapped it directly to the running back. I thought it was an exchange, like a uh, fumbled exchange, rather. Mm -hmm. he just happened to go he's, to the yeah, back. he snapped it right to him. Power. T in the backfield. Number 32 heads to the right. Ty Shaw, the ball carrier. Look like the Saints have decided they want to play smash mouth football with that formation they have. Exactly what it looks like. That's what Smith on the stop. Seems to be short. Game of two to the 41. Third down, six. Third down, eight. 
Now, the only way you can pass out of this formation is the backs out the backfield. They're going to have to get out of the backfield. Play action pass is incomplete. He's intended for Reggie Blackman, defending for the Panthers is number five, Stephon Robinson. Like we said earlier, Justin, the only thing they could really throw out of that was fake the back and roll out, which is he tried to do. Let's get a good run back. Don't fumble. Santa heist the punt. The kick is up. On punt. Robinson throws the ball. Get out of bounds. Get outside. Touch the down. Come on, get out of bounds. Get out of there. Isn't that going to outrun him? Robinson down to the 10 yard line. I don't see it. Return by number five, defensive back Stephon Robinson. Only thing I see yellow out there are shoes, so I don't see a flag on the play. It's going to stand. Robinson returns. The play goes to the 11 yard line. I don't see any handkerchiefs. I'm looking. Unless that's one way over there on the sideline. Oh, yeah. I'm looking it where. Look like flag now. It is a flag. Way over there on the 18-yard line. 18 yard line. Yep. Which is going to completely wipe out. Every, all of it. And looking at that, if that's where over there the play, well, the the official over there was the one that probably saw it. But yeah, it looked like he, whatever that block was, was behind the play. Right. And what we've always taught, don't block behind the play, because that he can't make that tackle. That's gonna bring the Panthers' offense inside. Seven, eight, nine, five, five, five. Five. Penalties have had a first and ten from their own nine yard line. Strategic penalties. Penalties that are yeah. have occurred are very costly. That took the Panthers from their own ten yard line back to uh, Sienna Heights ten yard line. There's nobody covering this slot, man. He should get the ball right away. Mantez Holmes on the slot. Shaheem Dowdy steps up in the pocket. Dowdy and he throws to Miller. Incomplete. Got a, we got a play. Is that, is that going to be an inter offensive interference or defensive interference? Let me look at the sideline over there. We'll tell. A lot of tussling down the field. Looks like they've gone either way. Could have been offense or defense. I figure in situations like that, just let them play. I see this. The uh, Sienna coach is clapping. It's going to be offensive interference. That's Oh, we call defense. Oh, he gonna unclap now. Let me see. Let me let me check him out. Yeah, they're fussing. Like I said before, just look at them. They, they definitely thought it was offensive interference. Automatic first down. Virginia Union first and 10 from their own 24. Five wide receivers, three at the bottom, two up top. Looks like we have Miller and Gross at the top. This Lennon, is a, Holmes, and York down bottom. This Dottie is, gets a snap. Dottie, Dottie, snap. Dottie up the middle across the 50. This is the offense they came out in, saw the second half, and what it's amounted to is they spread the field open, and the quarterback is usually not accounted for as a runner, and this is what he has done, taking off. There's a cr Remember I spoke earlier about hydrating? That play, the play on the field now looks like he's cramping up. It's like cramps. Gives Virginia Union a first and ten when play resumes on the same 39-yard line. I was about a 30-yard run, I doubt it. What we had said earlier, when we spread them out, now we have five receivers. You got to send those DBs and linebackers out there to cover the receivers. That leaves the open run.
dot com. That is a particular Virginia Union Boosters are selling raffle tickets. The big scholarship will see the last day to Virginia Union. Boosters will be selling the raffle tickets at each home game during the 2014 season. First prize, $250. Second prize, $100. Just not, I think Kenneth would have broke that. that I, I, th I think Kenneth would have broke that. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> On November 8th, the winner has to be present to win. We're going to see that play. We're going to see that play later on with Kenneth. Kenneth is going to run that same play because we're going to keep him in five wide. Bus will be part of the field at 12 noon on the 20th. And me and Justin were talking about Kenneth and, and, and uh, Shaheem. Shaheem Dowdy is 6'4", 218. Kenneth Graham, the other quarterback, is 6 feet, 173, with a lot more quickness than the 6'4 guy. The Packers, Panther fans. The Indian fans, tickets to the next time they have the ball game to be on the Indian Union ticket office. And the CDC is open Monday to May 30th to May 30th at 4.30. And on Friday to May 30th at 6.30, tickets will also be on sale two hours prior to each game. definitely see a case for running Kenny Graham with that same play. Sienna Heights in the same formation. Virginia Union in the same formation. Why not give it one more chance? That is first and ten. Quarterback is not accounted for when you go five wide. I still think the slot in this case can get a quick pass. Either slot. There it is. There it is. Cross rumbles down inside the 10 yard line. I think we should just. I think we should just keep it wide, keep the five wide, spread them out, and do pretty much what we want to. Because when they do it, they're still trying to stay in that cover two shell, and you can't stay in cover two with this. They're gonna have to call time out to make some adjustments. They may not have time. Shaheem Dowdy, back to get the snap. The play is still open up up the middle. Like you said earlier, the quarterback is unaccounted for. Shot that one not as successful as the last. On Shot the tackle, the D ain't crashing on that play this time. Play carries the one to the six, second down goal. Panthers from the six yard line. Is that the signal for the fade? Let's see. Shaheem Dowdy on a rollout. Throws it up. Intercepted in the end zone. That was, that was not a good pass. Caused intercepted by Shaheem Dowdy in the red zone. There were three, three defenders in that area. He could not see this his receiver at all. Situations like that, you just have to throw it through the back of the end zone and take the three points. Throw it away and keep the ball. Devontae Price on the interception. See, and that's the one thing about playing a spread offense. When you get down close, the end zone, the end line is another defender, so you can't go deep. So you need to get some kind of way to run the football when you get down there from the same formation. Union has come out and really stopped the run this quarter. The tight shot into the backfield by the Panthers. Dominic Rowe and others. No game on the play. Second down, 10 from the 20. Yeah, and as the game goes along, you start to realize the offensive line may be the weakest point, but that defensive line is by far one of the strongest. And playing a 3-5 anyway, the linebackers are really feeling. 
They're still in that three five. You got three down linemen and five stand up linebackers. Mm -hmm. And they're flying to the football. Good coverage. Good coverage. And they bring up the third team. Looks like number four, the Mola Abreu. 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 I'm pretty. I'm pretty impressed with number five. Your cornerback here, Defon Robinson. Yes, sir. Yeah, he seemed to be the real deal. That's the interference. Oh, oh, oh. in. Yes. He was in great position. He didn't have to bump him. Julius Taylor. At two flags on the field. We know one is interference. Let's see what the other one is. You know, Willie, as the game goes along, it's getting harder and harder for me to say not many players. It's no, it's not the case anymore. It's definitely starting to pile up. Yeah, you, but you know what is happening now? As fatigue sits in, you're gonna see more grabbing yeah. and more time. That's what we're getting now. No, that's out the window now. The, the number of flags have totally <laughs> increased. See, and I see 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 and I I think we're almost forcing them to be one dimensional with the pass because they're not getting anything with the run. That's the way it's headed. If you can get on the board one more time in Siena Heights, yeah. you can almost guarantee their run game is gone. Play action. The pass is complete. Incomplete. Short. Number 13 on the reception, Raphael Dunson, fourth out of bounds. By the Panthers, number five, Stephon Robinson. That'll make it about third and four. One to third and three. Gain of seven to the 43, third down three. Santa High subs in tight end, number 88. You notice most of, his, most of his passes have been rollouts. I think all of his passes are yeah. off, to be honest. Hand off up the middle. Come on, come on, come on. To number 32. Rashid well, Smith for a gain. No gain. No gain. No gain. No gain. They had to punt this football. They inside their own territory. They had to punt this football. We'll get it back. No gain. No gain. No gain. No gain. No gain. No gain. No All right, last time we had a run back. Let's see what we get. Robinson does it all, doesn't he? Kyle, that he um, does. Robinson fields it. On the punt. No way to go. Taken by Robinson. Robinson down at the 30-yard line. Nate Pupel and others on the start. About a 32-yard punt, so we in good shape. 5-yard return. We'll give the Panthers a first yeah, no chance. No water. Ball is spotted at the Panthers' 30-yard line. No white people like this when I tell you this. That little project got everything they had there. All right, here are the Panthers lining up on their own 30-yard line, going from left to right. Dowdy's pass. Dowdy, New York. New York catches it for a long game. Beautiful throw. Beautiful Saint throw. St. Panther to about the St. 33 yard line. Beautiful throw, quarterback. Jesse York down to the 33 yard line. Beautiful pass. 37 yard pass play from Dowdy 
to York will give Virginia Union a first and ten on the St. 33 yard line. Prior to the pass, that was movement. That was movement, and they York stopped. Was looking for the flag. They were looking for a flag, and they stopped. Exactly. And the quarterback was smart enough to continue. Yeah. Decided to take off. That was movement. Eric Shaw with the carry. Uh, Eric Shaw with the ball carry. Got about four yards. Almost broke that. Four yards the tackle number 51, Cody Perkins. I think that last play just goes so to show. Sometimes you just got to play carries for one yard. You got to just take it. Continue. Yards Good old to the 29. Continue to play. Second down, six. Like we tell folks, play for the whistle. Now, instead of going empty, we're going with one back now. We're still getting it from the pistol, but we're going one back. So now we have a running. Eric Shaw with the carry. Oh, the ball, the carry. Big strong run again by uh, Eric Shaw. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the lineman making initial contact. What they're going to have to do is stay on the block. If they stay on it, the man can't get off and make that tackle. That was a lineman that got off and made the tackle. Like the lining up to see Sienna Heights linemen. Then Shaheem looks over to the coach. Let me call the play. And then they call the play from the sideline. Dowdy communicates to his lineman. Snap. Shaw again on the carry. Shaw stuffs for a gain of no yards. Hey, Justin, whenever you see the lineman turn it around, Facing the backfield, they remember they missed that block. Yes. No gain on the play and bring up the fourth and one. The ball was spotted at the St. Paul. Panthers are bringing in a heavy personnel. We used to call that the lookout block. The lookout block. Yeah, so the lamb, when you missed the block, turn and call lookout. So that's the lookout block. Come on, guys, let's get this first down. Fourth and one, Virginia Union. Muscle up and get this first down. Panthers heavy in the backfield. Hand off to Robinson. Stuffed. Robinson, the ball carrier. He, he lost four yards. Stuffed. Turn over on down. On the tackle, number 57, Kyle Connors. For the Saints, the ball will go over on down to the Saints. As the play is short of the line of game, it will be first and 10 Saints. Ball is spotted on their own 26-yard line. And looking at the halftime stats, there wasn't much yardage gained on the ground for either team. Either team got, both teams got very little on the ground the first half and look like it's continued this half. Flags are down. Four flags on the play. 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 Four flags And looking at the first half, neither team did very much rushing. Here again, it's been the same. And the is sacked in the backfield. Sack on the play. By By number 99. Number 99. Big. Chris Spinelon. Yep. Lost to the 12. Chris Spinelon on the tackle. On the sack. Second and twenty-four. Fatigue is gonna be a problem out here before it's over. Look like look like Sienna now is getting tired. And if you look at the size of the defensive lineman for Union and the size of the offensive guys for Sienna, look at the different size. Quickness. Yes. And the 3-5 defense is predicated on your linebackers flying to the football, and that's what we have. Jake Helsel, 
Second down, 29 from the seven. Gage Abersort at left guard. He's about 6'5", 330. He's actually lined up as he is left guard. Center is Mike Stinger, 6'3", 270. Kowski's pass is complete. Good coverage by the Reggie Blackman. Good coverage by the secondary of the Panthers. Ricardo Smith on the tackle with others for the Panthers. Brings up a third down. Just to piggyback off what you're saying, he's, mm-hmm. just Sienna Heist's line in general is just a group. Of Game of seven big guys. boys. Big boys. And that's what happens when you're playing in the 3 5. Mm-hmm. Quickness, quickness, quickness. And that's what you're just throwing after. Here again, we come. And that oh, was a draw play. Huge ball. The ball down but it was. Number 34, Fox. Fox. But a draw play with 30 and 25, we'll take that. 30 and 25, we'll take a draw play. Play carries to the 24-yard line and bring up a fourth down situation. We have 51 seconds left in the third quarter. Union appears to be taking control of this game. Looks like Jesse York is in the backfield this time to return the front. I think what's his name's tired. Oh, block. Block punt. Blocked by the Panthers. Go get it. Go get it. We'll take the safety. Safety on the play. Blocked by number 27, Ricardo Dixon. Yes, great, great, great reaction to Dixon. Blocked by Ricardo Dixon of the Panthers. Results in a safety for the Panthers. That should never happen with three three personal protectors and a man come up the middle and block the punt. Go back to that fatigue. It, yes, what we're saying again. Fatigue makes cowards out of all of us. <laughs> it's been a yeah, tough day. You can day. just tell by watching down on the field. Yes. Sienna Heights' players are just really, really out of energy. And remember now, Sienna is located in Adrian. Michigan. And I think they rode the bus here. So, of course, they, of, of course they rode the bus. The big boys fly. <laughs> we ride the bus. Yes. We have 28 seconds left in the third quarter with the score now 12 0. Union should go ahead and score again to put this game on the reach. On the free kick for the Saints. And that ride for Sienna Heights was about 11 hours. That's a hump. We know. Take that long drive before the game. That'll take enough out of you by itself. You don't recover right away. You don't recover right away. We should get good field position out of this kick. Most definitely. Sienna Heights lines up the kick. He's up. Austin's kick is taken at the 24 yard line. Lock. By Dante Ross. He's on the forty. Uh, tackle number thirty, Nate Capel. He's up to about the forty-seven, so that's good. Twenty-two yard return. That is a first and ten from the Panther forty-seven yard line. Punch this one in. We can pretty much put the game away. Yes, I see a lot of Seattle players over there stretching and trying to keep the muscles loose, but I know it's hot. It just had some rain not too long ago, so the overcast helps. Yeah, it helps. Bit. Don't have that sun beaming down on you. That's a howdy passing. Throws to York. Ah, and just barely out of York's reach. For Jesse York, there is a flag. Flag. Down. Look that way on there. Oh, in the first. I didn't even see that. I flag saw it. Down at the about the seven yard line. Yeah. And if the NFL, we would get it there, but they're going to come back and mock right. it off. <laughs> they're going to come back and mock it off. Yeah. Yeah. Back to the spot. Line of scrimmage, mock it off. But even at that, it looked like he adjusted wrong. He went this way, and the ball went that way. Penalty moves the ball into St. Territory to the St. 38-yard line. 
Good duty Union first and ten on the sink thirty eight. Now he's really decided to air it out with that. Picked up some good long passes. That's a good arm was. I think that's what they went to when they went into the halftime. We can throw the football. That's a screen. Nice pass is good for number the catch. 10. Dante makes a very acrobatic play. To get yeah. Well, six yards six on the yeah. play. Richie Allington on the stop. Dante Young. carries for about four. Fourth quarter. And that is the yes, end of the yes. third quarter. Yep. And that's the end of the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Santa Hyde Saints, nothing. Score is 12 to 0. Virginia Uni. Let's be tough now because two scores can bring them right back. Let's put them away. Put them away. He says 11 hour drive from Adrian, Michigan here. Wow. We all know riding takes it out of you. Yeah. I don't care how young you are. And this is the first time these two schools have played each other. Third quarter. That's stats at the end of the third quarter. Virginia Union's running game looks a lot better at halftime. They had 19 carries for four yards. At the end of the third, it's 26 carries for 65 yards. Much better. There's been improvement there. In addition to the pass, Virginia Union going into the half had 111 pass yards. This at the end of the third quarter, they doubled that number to 235 yards. 21 attempts, 13 completions, and one interception. And they're going to have to continue attack this defense that they're trying to play because once you spread them out, it makes them vulnerable, really vulnerable to the fast because they're trying to play a too deep shell. Second down, six. Ball of the same 34. This point is going from right to left on your radio dot. Dowdy in the backfield. Takes a snap. Quick pass. To the pass ball right. is complete to number 13. To the ball right. right. I know they're going to say his, his, knee, his, his knee was down. I, I, <laughs> I know the referee is going to say, wait a minute, he's down. The referee referee's is going to correct this call. Right is ruled down at the 35 yard line. Ah, looks like they brought it back. Game of one. The side judge didn't see it, but the referee saw it. Third and five. I think he'd given them the honor might not ever come back here on that play. Daddy looks over to Coach James to get the play, get the play call. I can. Lennon. Rolls in the, in the, the ball is up. Oh! Just off his fingertips. Intended to not take game. David Frost drops the touchdown pass. Just off his fingertips. I've been wondering all the time, when were they going to attack the slot? Remember I asked you earlier, why are they going to attack the slot? They attacked it that time. It was they there. The touchdown situation for Virginia Union. Fourth and five, Panthers. On the same 35 yard line. Are you going to keep them deep or are you going to go for this? Looks like they're going for it. Let's, let's punt it, coach. Let's punt it, coach, and stick them deep. Have an official timeout on the field. Okay. Resetting the play clock for 25 seconds. I will punt this. Let's see what happens. Line up five wide. We got Holmes. Look, look like at the bottom of the field. Look like the blitz is coming. Look at your two linebackers. They like, like the end is spread it out. He's coming. 
He's coming. That is, ah. and the keeper is tackled by number 51, Cody Perkins. I, that wasn't a bad play call by any means. All the gold round down. I would have punted the football and let them come out. Deep. But let's go. Panthers defense takes a fifth. Yeah, I would have. Yeah, I would have made them come out deep inside. Let's go, defense. I'm not happy unless I'm up 17 points because I know they can't go 8 and 8 and snap a 16. <laughs> so. Big push up the middle. Passing. Great. Passing complete. complete. 99 have been called in trouble all night. And, he, and, nine is, and 97 in the backfield again. Second down, 10. Yeah. The John Prophet. 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 6'5, 290. He's quick. 97. 6'5, 290. He's quick. And I think it just goes back to the fact that these Siena Heights Saints are just fatigued. They can't hold on to it. Yeah. Hand off to defenders. number 10, Julius. Run by number 10, Julius Taylor. On the stop. First down. Tadante Bash and Patrick McDowell. Blake carries for a Saint first down to the 47-yard line. And that one was just your traditional counterpoint. That's all it was. Take one way, go back the other way. And when you only have three linemen up front, you catch your defense. Or you catch your linebackers going the opposite direction. Kowski's pass is knocked through the air. Complete two yards. And rolled incomplete. Hey, incomplete. I think two out of bounds by number four. Okay. Great play. Yep, that's what that was. I think Robson is doing a great job at this corner. Like I said earlier, Stephon Robson, the 5'10", 109 pound corner. Yeah, he's good. Big pass. 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 Come on, give me some pass rush now. Look like the quarterback, Zan Kowski. Zan Kowski is giving time. Look like he can complete the pass. Play carries to the 34-yard line, and he's safe for a down. 13-yard gain on the play. 13-yard gain on the play. Well, I had to put some pressure on the quarterback because I think he can stand back there and complete him. There we go again. Right, never mind, never mind. There you go. A draw play that was stopped that time for no gain. So, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay. That was a draw play run by Sian and was stopped for no game by the middle of the Panthers defensive line. Now we have a That's second and 11. Down Both of us have just me. Technical difficulties with us. Yeah, there's a pass. Pass is complete. Pass number one. For Reggie Blackman. Complete. Reggie Blackman. Number 58 on the stop for the Panthers. Look Miguel like, Gray along with number 22. Looks like again about Eddie nine. Uh, Play carries to the 25 yard line. Let's keep him out of the end zone. Don't give him no chance to get life at this Third time, man. One. Check, check, check. We're still in good shape. Check. I can't hear you. You good? 
Check, one, two, one, two. Thirty-two. Jogger bomb carrier. Play carry for a safer down. That was number thirty-two. Shaw gaining about four yards for the first down. It'll be first and ten at Union's twenty-three yard line. Twenty-three. First and ten. We need a stop here. Kowski, passing. Throwing away quarterback Zane Kowski threw that one away. Being chased by Daryl Lamb. Six foot four, two and eighty five sophomore. I don't hear you either. No. Second and ten at the Union 24 yard line. Zakowski in the pistol offense. Drops back to throw. Keeps the ball. <laughs> Running a slide okay. down. Hey, this is not the NFL. <laughs> he slid down. You still, that doesn't help. A gain of about four yards for the quarterback on the quarterback draw. Gain of three. Third down, seven from the 20. No. 37 from the 20 yard line. I think Santa State, Santa Heights may be in fourth down territory, trailing 12 nothing with 10 minutes and three seconds left in the game. Timeout. Virginia Union. Virginia Union timeout. Virginia Union would like to recognize the incoming freshman from Virginia Union University. Let's give the class of 2018 a big round of applause. What? Virginia Union. That's speed. That's speed right there, right? Yeah. Jim, come over and fix it on the timer. And telling season passes. Thank you for Thursday. Also, our sponsors. Alicia's on the landscape. Toyota. Time out on the field. The coach has called the whole defense over to see what we have here. We have a third and about seven yards on the Union 20 yard line. Big play here. Union has to be aware that they are just up two scores. After the timeout, Sienna comes out third and seven, still, still in the pistol offense. Quarterback drops back to pass, throws the ball. Looked like he stepped in a hole because he went down. The receiver went down, so it's incomplete. Brings up a fourth down situation. All right, here we go. Fourth down, seven yards to go on the 20-yard line. Santa appears to be going for it. Big play at this time. Fourth down, seven, six from the 20-yard line. We stop him here. We'll be in good shape. Get some time off the clock. Here again, they're in the pistol offense. Quarterback drops back to the throw. There's a flag. That's holding. It's coming back. The referee called it holding on the offensive lineman, so that's coming back. Then Kowski rushed for the first down, but that was holding in the offensive backfield, and it's coming back. That was Jake Hassell, the left tackle holding on that play. Now instead of fourth and seven, now it's fourth and seventeen. The pounce.
more than likely will bring in additional defensive backs on this play, being fourth and 17. It almost pass, almost sure it's going to be a pass on this now. Let's stop this and get the ball. Pass with a three-man rush. That means they're dropping eight into the secondary. There it is. The ball is intercepted on that particular pass, but he would have done better if he had knocked it down because they would have got the ball on the 30 because it was fourth down. <laughs> you know, I, I know DBs wanted to get the interception, but if he had knocked it down, we would have got 10, 20 more yards because the ball would have been on the 30 as opposed to being on the 10. You know, when you play the secondary, everybody wants to Yeah, got to get a pick. Got to get a pick. And I, and I tell the guys all the time, think about the situation. I know, don't be selfish. At that time, he was. Knock it down. Get the ball on the 30. The fans cheering there? Are we still in the, are we still in the five wide empty, empty backfield? Let's hold on to the football and be smart. We have nine minutes and 32 seconds left in the game. That ain't a wrong carrier. That is just really, really fighting for those yards. Gain about six yards. Tackle by a host of, of Saints tacklers. You, you notice the quarterback draw is not there anymore because you're outside, two outside guys. They're not charging. They're not rushing. They've made the adjustment to that quarterback draw. We're going to have to throw the football because they can't get in the secondary and help. It's man to man. Now they've dropped. Protect the football. Somebody needs to check out his helmet. That's yeah. the third time Isn't that fitting? And somebody needed to tell him to throw the football away. Having played quarterback, there's two things when you throw the ball away. You don't lose yardage. You don't get hit. So throw the football Everybody away. <laughs> yes, throw the ball away. Let's be smart now. We're on the five-yard line. Third and 15. Yeah, inside the five. <laughs> Take what you can get and punt the football. Don't have to gamble this time. Take what you can get and punt the football. Kenny Graham's pass is complete. Okay, that's fine. We are to the 15. Fourth down, let the kicker kick it. We're going to kick it. Great play. Game 10 of the play, fourth and five on, the I have to admit from the short time that Kenneth has played today, he's done well. <laughs> he picked the long pass. And I think, and I think even during the first half, he was three for three. Oh, was he? Yes. Corey, Kepit's money for the paper. So. He played real well today. Block guys. Preppage's punt is taken by Smith at the 43 yard line. Smith taking it. On the stop for the Panthers for the 37, Steve Burnett. I, also 47, Anthony Forrest. I know Troy was not happy with that punt. Went about 28 yards. 28 yard punt. I need to return will give the Saints the first and 10. From the Panther 37. In those particular incidents, you hope he gets it off a boomer, but 28 yards, is, we have to take what he got. Let's go, defense. They're going to the empty backfield, so they want to throw the football in there. The quarterback is not that fleet of foot. They want to throw the football, and they're going to throw it. Screen. Three. Three. pass is complete over the middle. To number 15, Raphael Dunson. That's it. Well. On the tackle for the Panthers from the 26, Charles Davis. That's the jailbreak screen. Everything is going toward the defensive folks in the back. Come back inside. Blake Harris to the 28. Second and one. 
Second and one. I would run that again. Mikowski passing. No good. The Kowski passing to Blackman. Is Blackman. Incomplete. incomplete. Third and one. Same third down one. We have six on minutes and six minutes and thirty-four seconds left in the ball game, with the Panthers leaving leading twelve to zero. Third and one on the Panther. 27 yard line. 28 yard line. I'm sure if they don't make it on this one, they're going for it on fourth down. Time is time is time is definitely becoming an enemy. Illegal substitution. Do we have illegal substitution against Sienna? Oh, no, fl no flag on the play. Time out. Oh, uh, I think the quarterback was going to make a hand signal. Mm -hmm. They mistake it for time out. For a time out. Call. Well, desperation gonna start sitting in there at 6:34. They don't. They going for it on fourth down. I think the next time the pants will get on the field, they're going to have to eat up some clock. Definitely. Santa Heights comes across to me as a team that might pull a hook and ladder. Or yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or something. Panthers, this whole game here on the field next Saturday against Charleston. The game time is 1 o'clock. They're probably going into the power wire running offense right now. They're going to get this first down. I think they're coming off tap. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh they did come up. Somebody got caught looking in the backfield because all he did was take the dive and hit the back. Come on, defense. Inside the 15 to the 15 yard line. It'd be really nice if the Panthers would hold the shutout. Six minutes and counting. All right. 99 on the tackle. Shaw the ball carrier. Stopped by Fred Sinelon and others. Yep. Also number two, Joe Blanks on the tackle. Again, about two on that. Clock is still running. The clock is our ally, but we have to go ahead and not let them score. If they don't score. Second down the long nine. Running the ball, getting two, three that yards. We'll, we'll accept that. Oh yes. Oh, great play. Great play. Who was that? Number forty. Great call on the sideline on that blitz. Loss on the play to the 17. Came, Came off the side, yep. Ran right into a sack on that blitz. Third and about 14. Let's get an interception. The Kowski passing to number one, Reggie Blackman. All right, there was a pass to, to some thing constant to Blackman came about eight yards. I think they're two yards short. I think about fourth and two. Play carries to the five for a game of 12. And we have four minutes in the game. Normally when you hear four minutes, you think, what the heck? Four yeah. Minutes. And football time, nah, four minutes will last the next hour. Yeah. With the incompletion stopping the clock, but they're gonna they're gonna run this football. 
If we stop him here, I think we pretty much. I guarantee that roll out pass is coming. On the carry is number 32. I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. Nice shot. I think it's first and ten going the other way. I'm looking at where the far. Right. I'm looking where he. I'm looking where he put his foot also. That. Dominic Rodriguez on the stop. You gonna measure? For a measurement. For a measurement. Time out. For measurement. That one's first down. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Here comes the measurement. This is going to determine the ball game right here, ladies and gentlemen. He hasn't stressed it out yet, but it's it's looking close. Short. Short by an inch. It's going to be turnover on downs. First down, Panthers. Ball is spotted at the four. Dowdy with the hand up, with the snap. Shaw with the hand up. Just across the five yard line. Number 51, Cody Perkins, and number 12. Second down, eight from the six. Second and eight from the six. There's no hurry. Let the clock run. Run into the line of scrimmage. Punt the football if we have to. 3.36 left in the game. Make them use timeout. Play clock down to five seconds. Run the ball. That's great. That's what you want to do. If you get a first down, that's great. Stay in. Oh, we're going to we're gonna have to teach the running back to stay in bounds because the clock runs as long as he in bounds. Right down to about the 14. Penalty flag down. Flag down. But we're going to have that tell it back with three minutes left. Stay in bounds. Eric Sean, Carrie Jr., running back. Hmm. Coming out of Washington, D.C., Blue High School. Penalty against the Panthers. Let's see what the official says. How you get unnecessary roughness? We're trying to run the clock out on the five yard line. Now we're back on the three. Let's be smart. The ball back to the three yard line. It'll be second down and about 11. But that's against the tackle, number 70. Whoever was against should make sense. Get out the backfield. It's going to be number 70, left tackle. Mason, Mason. All right. Come on, quarterback. Keep the ball. We don't worry about scoring a touchdown. Get... That is That's tight. interference. That is interference. Late flag. Late flag, but that was interference. Late flag, but that was interference. If it was a catchable ball. Now, let's see what they say. It was kind of high. Let's see now if it was. That's what my initial thought was why he didn't throw the flag at first. Yes, because it was high. Well, catch. Catch I didn't think it was a catchable ball initially. Let's see if they let see if they make it stick it back his pocket. Uh, yes, you like we said. Up. Yes, it yeah. was not a catchable yeah. ball. Yes, uncatchable. That's what we said when we when we first saw it. 
run the ball again, get some time off the clock, and kick it. Third and eleven. We have two fifty-nine left in the game. Time out. Second time out of the half. Yeah. Not a bad time because right now you really want to know what you want to do because a mistake down here will be detrimental. If you do no more, run the ball into the line of scrimmage and punt it. Coach has called the Warriors to the sideline. He wants to get this straight. There is no misunderstanding on what's happening now. Well, the rain looked like it dissipated. We got a little shower, which cools things off for a little while, but there is a nice cloudy day. Yes. 2.59 on the clock, and the time is 2.49. So there is something about a 12 o'clock game, which allows you to have more of your afternoon off, but uh, usually usually games going to be at 1 o'clock. More yes, I think Tech and Ohio State and some other yes, folks are playing today. So, the Panthers seem to be in pretty good shape right now for the initial game. They're trying to throw yes. some. It's oh, going deep. It's going deep. Jesse, it's going deep. Good. Don't let that white boy catch you. Don't let that white boy catch you. Get up. Touchdown. That is the longest pass in Union history. That's going to be the longest pass in Union history, I think. That's about 99 yards. <laughs> yes, sir. It's, that was great. They lay in the flag. Let's look for a flag on the field. I, hey, I see the officials over there huddling, though. So, so something's going on. They're hulling at the 50-yard line, folks. Let's wait and see. Bringing it back. Oh, They're bringing it back, folks. They're bringing it back. Oh, I see the flag in the 30-yard line. Yeah. Guess what? Guess what? You heard he said. I think he said sideline interference with contact. That's over here. You know what? If the referee can't run down the sideline unimpeded, you get a flag every time. And I think you had contact with the official running down the sideline. So somebody, the player or assistant coach on the sideline, was in the way of the official running down the sideline, which brought the play back. You have to move back to give the official. Free access running up and down the sideline. That was a 99 yard touchdown, which was called back. You get a first down out of this because it's from the spot of the foul. So we still have ball. So the good thing about this, we get a first down from the spot of the foul. So it will be first down with 2 minutes and 44 seconds left. It'll be Panthers first and 10. But a 99-yard touchdown called back because of the sidelines. That was a great throw by the quarterback. Good concentration by the receiver. Let's run out the clock. Stay in. Robinson. Darian Price. All we have to do now is get one more first down, and we can run out the clock. I think the final Brandon score today will be 12, 12 to nothing. Don't need to take any more chances. Keep the ball on the ground, get a first down, and we're in good shape. That is pass is complete. Stay in bound. Stay in bound. Stay in bound, young receiver. First down. Dante Moore made the reception, but Dante they has to learn to stay in bounds. First down. Stay in bound, Dante. Let the clock run. Just 
just inside two minutes. Kings up 12 0. And unless there's some type of crazy Sienna Heights miracle, I think we can mark this up as one of the fans. I don't see a miracle happening. Oh, almost had one. Oh, they still throwing the ball. Yes, he is. Hey, hey, hey. Let, let me holler that to the uh, coaches. Coaches, run the football. <laughs> There's no need to even put it up now. Come on. Let's be smart. Unless you were favored by more than twelve in Vegas, why are you trying to get in <laughs> why you can try to get into more points? <laughs> yeah, that's run the ball. We get all this straight stuff straight when I get home. All right, did you get a first down? Third and about four. We're we in good shape. If we don't even get a field goal, we don't. The 37 gain of five, third down five. Kick it. Hold on, silence. Somebody call me. Get many yards as you can. Tell you running back to protect the football. And No dancing. First down. Shaw knocked on the bound. That should do it. One minute. One minute and two seconds left. First down. That should do it, folks. It's a great way for Coach James to start out his head coaching career on the collegiate level. Always glad to start out with a W. So he got it with the keeper. Get down. Now he wait quarterback. Now the ball carrier. Everything's fine. Clock winding down. We're, we're under 50 seconds. Play clock at 35. Game clock at 45. They really don't have to snap it, but one more time. Game of five, seven down five. Get in the victory position and so take a knee. And yeah. Get out. In. Get out of here. It looks like that's what we're gonna be doing. Yep. Take a knee and get out. And the final deal, and that will be that the Panther win of the season. That's, that's the way to go, guys. This is a good good game. Didn't seem to be any injuries. Didn't look like we had any injuries at all. So, so what we do now is go back. Zero. See you again next week. We'll see you then. Thank you for coming out Same to place. support your Virginia Our University Panthers. One o'clock kickoff. Have a yes, safe time home and a pleasant week. And uh, we'll see you next Saturday. So this is Willie Spence and Justin Wright signing off. See you next week. Bye, folks. <laughs>